I would say uh, let the voice do the work for you. You have, you have, you have the tools are there. Just let that voice carry. You don't have to push too hard. Just let your voice. That's our former colleague and friend Mike Anderson playing the role of judge at American Idol Auditions in Milwaukee back in 2017. Mike was not just a journalist, but a recording artist as well. Now, as we reported at the top of our newscast, we lost our former colleague and friend Mike Anderson suddenly today. WISN 12 News' Kent Wayne Scott rejoins us. And Kent, this is a loss to not just the 12 News family, but the entire community. You know, Toy, when it comes to people saying kind words about Mike Anderson, today really was no different than any other day because he was, above all, a kind and generous man. And as we've shown you, he was also a great storyteller who helped mentor a few generations of journalists. Mike left a lasting impact on Milwaukee, both on and off the air. You're watching Southeastern Wisconsin's number one 10 o'clock news. Hello, I'm Mike Anderson. After Oprah, the news is live at 5. For nearly four decades, Southeastern Wisconsin welcomed Mike Anderson inside their homes and their lives. But he became family, and he is an irreplaceable loss. Whether it was covering sad or difficult news, or sharing the fun of Summerfest or State Fair. We'll see you a little bit later on this morning. We've got some more goodies coming up for you in just a little bit here. Mike's care and compassion always shine through in his storytelling and with everyone he ever met. Mike and I were like brothers. Mike's friend and former WISN 12 chief photographer Carrie Edwards spoke on behalf of Mike's family because Carrie and his wife Bonnie were like family to Mike. Carrie recalled Mike's successful singing career. Mike gave us a sample during his retirement party. I guess it's nature's way everything must change. Edward says Mike's songwriting is what helped make him a great storyteller. Just like he was a musician, you know, it was kind of like the way he wrote was, was like music. Hello. There you are. Look at that. My last conversation with Mike was last Friday, an interview about another journalist and friend of Mike's, Eugene Kane, who had passed away. My heart is heavy right now. It was also the last time our 12 News viewers saw Mike. He suffered a stroke and was hospitalized hours later. It's crushing. It's just crushing news. To viewers of 12 News, perhaps no one was more closely tied to Mike Anderson than Kathy Michaelby. They shared the anchor desk and they shared interviews. Phenomenal personality. Yes! Yes, you are. <laughs> and they shared a decades-long friendship. When you're lucky enough to meet somebody like Mike Anderson at work and they become your friend for life, I just... I miss my Michael A and I will forever. For now, Mike Anderson, New Orleans. Reporting live this morning at Miller Park in West Dallas, in Green Bay, in Sherman Park, in Waukesha County, in Greenfield. All right, guys, thank so you very much. Be well. You bet. You too. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, he's going to be missed deeply by everyone, especially his family. He spoke about them uh, so often and, and cared so deeply for them. And, you know, a lot of people who, who talked to us, so many people reached out to us today. The, those who knew Mike um, personally off camera remember his kindness and his smile. And those all throughout the area who remember him only on camera remember his his style. And it always included one thing, of course, and that was his signature hat. And so... So I thought I'd sign off in uh, Mike Anderson style this evening as we remember our friend. And I toss it back to you. He would be proud.